believed to be the world's biggest aircraft is being built right here in the Bay Area in one of these hangars at Moffett Field. Google co-founder Sergey Brin is reportedly behind it. KPX Files Under Mira is live at Moffett Field trying to dig up some details on this top secret project. Len, what can you tell us? Well, we can tell you that uh, there are reports that a big secret mission is going on in one of the big hangars behind me. You know, those hangars were built in the 1930s and the 1940s by the U.S. Navy to house airships back then, and now it may be back to the future. Although details are scarce about what's going on behind the giant closed doors of this hangar at Moffett Field, word that it involves Google co-founder Sergey Brin and construction of the world's largest aircraft has piqued the interest of neighbors in Mountain View. It's no longer a secret, I think. According to The Guardian, which quoted anonymous sources, Brin is spending 100 to 150 million of his own dollars to build a modern airship inside hangar number two. It would be giant, more than two football fields in length, but shorter than both the Hindenburg and the USS Macon, a Navy airship based at Moffett Field in the 1930s. The hydrogen filled Hindenburg crashed and burned in New Jersey, killing 35 people. The helium filled Macon crashed in a storm off the Big Sur coast, most of its crew survived. Despite the checkered history, Brin is said to be fascinated with airships and wants to bring them back both for transportation and as a method to bring relief supplies to inaccessible areas during disasters. It's always a crazy idea, I think, uh, which some, some one day turned out to be something good for the society. Tech workers we spoke to are fascinated with the idea, speculating about how Brin's airship would be filled with technology unavailable 80 plus years ago to make them better and safer. Like having smart balancing controls and things like that so that the, uh, the load won't get, get out of balance. And we have much better navigation tools like GPS, which they never heard of even way back when with the Macon and so on. The Macon had its issues, but it also had its promise. And speaking of the Macon, you're looking at Hangar 1 here at Moffett Field. That was built to house the Macon back in the 1930s. You can see how big that structure is. And uh, the word is, if this project is actually happening, it can't stay a secret forever because it will have to come out for testing. And because of the size, everyone would see it. Reporting live at Moffett Field, Len Ramirez, KPIX5.